Today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Green Lantern Movie Masters Green Man Action Figure by Mattel. This set was uh, released in 2011 as an exclusive on Mattel's website, MattyCollector.com, and it was selling for $25. Taking a look at the figure here, you can see uh, he is encased in this uh, nice looking uh, packaging you know, I guess to resemble a, a lantern here and it's actually very very nice it's pretty cool here you got some uh, window on the uh, dressing on the side there it's pretty cool and the colors really uh, are really nice and you can see a uh, green man uh, within the packaging there and he's a pretty big figure on there taking a look at the back of the package here you can see um, a description here of the movie masters line and a nice uh, picture of green man there and some statistics uh, for green man which is uh, kind of interesting uh, because uh, especially the height here and probably the weight uh, I don't know if that's uh, information based off of the comic series or uh, a typo uh, because uh, this is supposed to represent it, the movie version of Green Man, and I doubt that he's only six foot four. Uh, the movie masters are supposed to uh, be in scale uh, with the other figures, and <laughs> and taking a look at that guy, he's uh, a lot taller than six foot four compared to Hal Jordan. <laughs> so, but uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be seven foot four or just information from the comic. So it's kind of weird. And you got a description here of a green man there. Uh, pretty neat. And uh, we'll be right back and have a green man out of the package. Okay, dokes, we have green man here out of the package. And it's a fairly nice figure uh, despite some of the limitations, mainly the articulation. But it's still a great figure to have, uh, especially if you're into the Green Lantern Movie Master line. Uh, first up, uh, we'll do a size comparison of Green Man here uh, because uh, that's one of the highlights of this figure is the large size and bulk of the figure. And we'll compare him against uh, Hal Jordan here. And you can see right away that uh, Green Man towers over Hal Jordan both in height and in uh, width. And it's uh, very, very neat. And from what I've read and seen, uh, I I believe there are going to be three of the uh, larger uh, Movie Master figures uh, going to be released by Mattel. Uh, Green Man being the first, Kilowaga I believe is uh, the second one, and the third one is not yet named. And if I were to guess, it would probably be Hanu. Uh, but that's just a guess. Uh, we will have to wait until Mattel uh, announces uh, the third one. But first, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Green Man here and it's uh, fairly impressive in the paint and the sculpt and uh, very much different than the comic version of Green Man. Uh, this uh, Green Man here is very toad-like or frog-like in appearance. Uh, much different than the comic version which I do not mind. Uh, this is the movie version and I've learned to separate uh, movies from uh, the original source material long ago and uh, it'd be interesting uh, to see how uh, the other uh, Lantern Corps members uh, look in the movies. Uh, but uh, this one here is frog-like in appearance. You can see uh, the head sculpt here, very frog-like. And also uh, on the shoulders here with a lot of the uh, spotting on there and the skin texture. And that's uh, very, very cool. Uh, Kind of interesting how uh, it's got the spot. I don't know if he's wearing a, a bodysuit or not, but it's kind of neat that the, these uh, spotting shows through the costume here, if it is indeed a costume. So, but uh, it's very very cool, and I really like the, the skin texture on here. A lot of bumpy surfaces on here. It's very very nice, and even in the back here, you can see uh, what looks like a very thick spine or two uh, sets of spines. I really can't tell. But it's very, very, very neat. 
Yeah, more of the detail on the legs here and the feet. And of course the the hands. It's very very neat. And uh, you got uh, the ring there, which is a nice uh, avocado type green there. And but not entirely green. It looks like it's got a metal uh, surface uh, on the other side there. But it's uh, very very cool. I really dig the paint and the metallic greens and the flat greens as well. And it's uh, blended very well between uh, the metallic and the flat colors. Very nice. And different shades of green as well. Uh, it looks like it's got dark green to I guess this uh, medium green. Even a, a brownish green at the toes. And of course here you got a very uh, brownish green at the face. Uh, very very cool lots of shades of green and also here you got some flat spotting here uh, looks like beige color there it's kind of harder to see uh, with the glare there but still fairly nice I really do uh, like it and of course those eyes uh, to really uh, make it look frog like on those eyes very very cool going over uh, some of the uh, articulation of this figure uh, that's one of the limitations of this figure is the articulation, but uh, the head is on a swivel joint, uh, but it doesn't go all the way around, and uh, I wouldn't want it to go all the way around anyways. Uh, but uh, it can uh, go f about that far to the uh, to his right and that far to his left. Uh, the arms at the shoulders are on a uh, swivel cut on there. The elbows do bend slightly. Yeah, but they also rotate uh, all the way around, which is kind of neat. Uh, the hands are on a hinge, the swivel joint, so you can bend the hand uh, in and out, as well as uh, all the way around. This figure has, uh, I guess, a torso or a waist joint, I really can't tell. Uh, but uh, it does uh, allow the figure to go bend up and down, uh, slightly side to side, and... Uh, all the way around as well so that's kind of neat the uh, legs at the hips are very interesting they're uh, very similar to the DC Universe Classics uh, hip joint uh, but in a uh, V-cut fashion so allows the leg to go up down uh, uh, to the back and uh, out to the side uh, although with this uh, V-cut it's kind of awkward on the articulation there the knees uh, are on a hinge swivel joint so you can bend the knee uh, up and down and uh, rotate it all the way around. Uh, there is uh, I guess ankle articulation which is also on a hinge uh, swivel joint so you can bend the uh, ankle or foot uh, up and down and rotate the foot all the way around. So. You got some uh, good and uh, bad articulation. The bad thing about the articulation is just the range. It's just uh, very limited on the range. Uh, but still you got some decent uh, articulation points. Uh, just not uh, a wider range of movement on there. But overall this is a really cool figure to have. Uh, I don't know if uh, more casual folks are, would... Uh, get into this figure but if you're into the Green Lantern or the Movie Master uh, or uh, Movie Master uh, Green Lantern line this is a really nice figure to have on there but uh, this is my casual peek into the Green Lantern Movie Master Green Man figure thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>